Hey there, Jeremy here from rcnightmare.com doing another free tutorial video. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the three-step process of preparing, taping, painting, and decaling a Lexan body. Uh, this is uh, one of the most detail-oriented parts of the job. It's something that I often get frustrated. That's why all my bodies are typically one main color with small amounts of accents. So I'm gonna let our lead tech van take, take you through the process. Then we're gonna take you out to the garage, show you how to apply the paint, then we're gonna bring you back in and show you how to apply the details, or decals. So uh, without further ado, Van, here you go, man. All right, thanks, Jeremy. Okay, so what we see here is um, Lexan body. This is actually for the Blitz ESE. It's the tack body that came with the kit, so you guys probably saw my post on that. Okay, so what we have here, it's already taped up masked off where I want the color where you see the clear right now is going to be black and then um, as you can see on the table I have black and yellow paint so whatever's masked right now will be yellow um, so before we get to this point uh, what you should do is wash your body with a bit of soapy water just to get any dust that may be on it from the shipping or manufacturing process just because um, a cleaner surface will adhere the, the paint a lot better Okay, so and then while the body is clear like this, um, if you don't have um, holes for the body mounts here, um, this would be the best time to put those holes in just because you can place it on your truck or car or whatever and then uh, do the reaming for that. Uh, once it's painted, it's going to be not so easy anymore. Okay, so as you can see, I've masked everything off here. The other option to do this is um, to use a masking paste. Um, I would recommend that if you're doing real intricate type work, you know, very fancy designs. I just don't have that kind of skill, so everything is mostly straight lines. Um, but I did want some uh, contrast. That's why you see a lot of masking tape here. Uh, as you can see, I used two types of masking tape, the uh, beige one and then the blue one. I'd recommend the blue one over the other one just because um, this masking tape it's, gets very sticky and then it's not a really fun time to work with whereas the blue one is much more forgiving um, and it'll, it'll keep the uh, bleeding from the paint just as well right so and then as you can see I have some paper in here that's mostly for overspray it, I'm not gonna be painting on that much so I'm not too worried about it but if you're gonna have a lot of paint everywhere then I would uh, suggest some plastic or um, something like that would be better. Okay, so let's see. Something else I can show you is how I did the detailing over here on the side here. Um, this was kind of interesting to figure out actually. Um, what I found was if I traced the uh, design um, on the opposite side here, like you can see with this pen, just peel it off, cut it, and then that usually is the perfect match for the inside of the opposite side, right? So it's not for the side that you're masking it to, it's for the other side. Just because this is symmetrical, it, it works better that way. Um, really just trace it, you have it, take it off, cut this tape now, and then it's a perfect fit on the other side. Um, that's how I got that detail in there. Um, anything else? No, I think we're ready to go out and get some painting done. Okay, great. So we're going to take this thing outside and apply a couple coats of paint, bring it back in and show you how to remove some tape and hit some sweet decals on there. Okay, we moved out to the garage. It's nighttime. And to give you an idea how <laughs> ghetto we are, we are lighting our stage with a lawnmower. <laughs> so we're making do to help you guys out. So, we've got everything all taped and out in the garage. And now Van's gonna take back over and apply some paint to show you how that's done. All right, so what my plan for this is, is gonna be painting this um, in light coats, maybe two to three light coats. So, um, you know, shake your can and okay, here we go. So not very 
much at all here because again I'm just going to do all very light coats and come back and hit it again. Okay, so let's make sure I get all the corners in here. And I think that'll do it. I'm just going to let this dry for 5-10 minutes or so or however long that takes and then come back, hit it with another one and then repeat. Okay, great. So we're going to shut off the camera. We'll probably show you the third coat and then we'll show you how to apply some decals. Oh, also we're going to show you how to remove the tape and, and apply the second coat too. So we'll be back. All right, so we're back inside now. Um, as you can see, I've got the black laid down. Um, this was after about four coats of paint, you know, light coats and then letting it dry and then apply another coat. So as you can see on the inside here, I got pretty good coverage everywhere. Splash guard worked real well. So what we're going to do now is just remove um, the masking for the second color and head on back outside and apply the second color. Um, so here we go. Let's see here. So just like that, as you can see, um, the masking tape works real well, prevented the um, paint from running in there. I'm just going to try the blue tape. This is the regular masking tape. Here's the blue tape on this end here. Uh, beautiful, right? So, okay, I think we're going to, you guys get the idea, right? So we're going to shut off the camera. Let me remove the rest of the masking on here. And then we'll head on back outside and put in the second color. Okay guys, here we are back in the garage to apply the second coat, um, or second color. My second color is going to be yellow. I think it will be a great contrast with this. So first, let's let me uh, go over the removing of the uh, masking. This is how it looks like. Kind of cool, right? Okay, so let's go ahead. And just the same thing. I'm going to apply light coats, but three to four coats, just like this. Just get it all over the place here. Very light coat, and then just let it dry, come back, and hit it again. Alright, so that's how you do it. We're going to do uh, this three, four more times, and then it's going to be great. Hey guys, Van back here in the house out of the garage again. Um, so, what we've done is we've painted the, uh, the Lexan body two-tone two -tone for my uh, attack body for the Blitz ESC here. As you can see underneath, pretty cool, pretty cool. What you see is um, I start to peel off the uh, protective coating on the body. Uh, you can see I have a lot of spray on the body. Don't worry about that because, again, it's on the protective coating. We're going to peel that all off anyways. So, I started it just because it's a little tricky to, to get going. You use your fingernail or edge of a knife or something, but then it just comes off like this. You can see the color is a little dull here while it's under the protection, but once it's off, it's gonna be shiny. Voila, awesome, huh? So I thought this was a pretty great turnout for um, you know first attempt and all that. Um, but as you can see, I didn't pull off all the tape yet. I just wanna show you you know, start on the corner and then just slowly peel it off. Um, there you go. Uh, I'll get at these bigger pieces later just because the paint hasn't completely dried yet, but that's it. Next thing to do is apply some decals. Hey guys, uh, sorry about that awkward transition. I actually forgot to get out my uh, decal sheet, so uh, well here they are. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, do a mock uh, dry run if I were to apply this one decal. Um, but first on the decal sheet, some of them will come pre-cut, some of them you have to cut through with scissors like this one here. So, but no biggie. So how do I go about applying this decal? There's a couple ways you can do it. The first way is just, you know, peel it off, stick it on. The problem with that is you have to be very sure where you want your decal and then you're pretty much set as to where it's going to go because it's very sticky. Um, the way that I prefer to do it is get a small bowl of water, add a couple drops of uh, baby oil or something like that and dunk the whole decal into it, peel it off the backing 
dunk it into the water, and then apply it onto wherever you want. The reason for doing that is with the water baby oil solution, what you will have is a little bit more play, a little bit more um, flexibility in applying the decal. Uh, once you get it down, you can move it around a little bit, adjust it just the way you like, and then uh, flatten it out so that you can get rid of all the water in it. Uh, don't worry too much about little bubbles that you may get. Uh, they will dry just fine. So that's how I would do it if I was to apply a decal. I'm just not sure how I want the placement yet, so that's why it's uh, not being done for real this time. So there you have it. That's how you go about preparing a clear Lexan body to painting it. I think this turned out pretty cool. And that's it, not too bad, right? Um, if you have any questions, feel free to post them below. And then if you like our videos, uh, subscribe to our channel. And then check out our site at rcnightmare.com. Thanks.